Jeremiah E. Burke High School is located in the heart of Boston's Dorchester Roxbury Grove Hall neighborhood. Serving over 500 students, the Burke offers a variety of academic, athletic, and enrichment programs. Part of the Burke's mission is to provide students with learning experiences that promote lifelong learning and to realize the personal goals and ambitions of all students. The relationship to staff and like how cozy and how of a home they make the Burke feel, um, I feel like whenever you need the support, it's like right there, you know. One of the things I really like about the Burke is the, you know, the community around here, you know, everyone's pretty welcoming. Teachers, you know, they want to get to know you better, you know, they want to help you. The atmosphere here is great, you know, I feel safe when I'm here. Teaching the teachers, you know, that like, I find them really cool and like, there's not much like bullying in the school, they don't really do that. The Burke is very positive, like our prep rally is positive. We have a lot of fun here. The staff here make sure that we're okay and talk to us about problems. As a Burke parent, I find the Burke is not just an academic school. It's really a community that they are open to having involvement with families, the, the youth of course, but also the community itself. I think that here at the Burke, um, it is a family oriented school. Once you come through the front door, even the people who's greeting you, it's like, I didn't have that at middle school or any other school. Like they're at the door saying good morning or good afternoon, who are you here to see? An important part of the student experience at the Burke is being involved in athletics or one of the 16 clubs or activities that are offered. It means a lot, like having Burke across your chest. It means that you're coming from somewhere. Well, like you come from a place where people are always working hard for each other supportive of each other, signifies something that's bigger than basketball. The 826 Writers Room is a partnership at the Berg, where dedicated full-time tutors offer mentoring, writing support, a space for creative thinking, and publishing opportunities to students. So we do have the 826 Writers Room. That's a writing program. Actually, students here have been a part of projects where they developed and published books, so like you can go and buy a book that was published right here at the Burke through the 826 Writers Room. The Writers Room often partners with another organization at the Burke, Becoming a Man. BAM is like a, it's like a brotherhood, uh, you know, it's Becoming a Man, the meaning of BAM. So basically what they do is they, they take young men, they try to build them up to be successful men in the future. Anything you need, you know, they can help you out. If you're hungry, you know, if you need food, you know, if you need clothes or anything, it's like a mentoring trip, it's like a brotherhood. The ABA Academy at the Burke is one of the six academies within the school. It is a small learning community designed to meet the individual needs of students with autism and other disabilities. It's actually a heart-to-heart, -heart, you know, kind of education where you're not only learning but you're developing social networks and students learn from you as a model and you also help them out to navigate some of the things that they encounter in life that are not only academic but social and even economic. Burke students have the opportunity to participate in multiple career pathways programs that include design and visual communications and biotechnology. The vision is really just to get students exposed to the field of biomedicine in general, um, get them doing some hands-on work, get them excited about technology and biology. I think it lends well to educational opportunities with like field trips to these different companies. We have mentors that come in as scientists and talk to the students. We went to like this actual biotech uh, technology place and that was really interesting because like you got to see like how these people like do their jobs on the daily and like a lot of like the technology that they use. Burke is making the connections to organizations that will help expose our kids to experiences. I'll leave it at that. Biotechnical, um, my son was able to go into a, di a biotechnical program through his connection to the Burke. Then the, during the summer, he was able to uh, work with Tufts University, again, trying to build up those opportunities and having him confident enough to say, you know, hey mom, I want to go into this program. This year particularly, we're covering um, video techniques. So our curriculum is aligned with the RCC cur curriculum for media broadcasts, so students are learning the same thing as college students and they have an opportunity to get college credit. We're a program that emphasizes leadership development, you know, developing good uh, moral leaders, but also informed leaders. You know, we provide a history credit, a civics credit, a physical education credit. We can write letters of recommendation based on leadership, you know, not just, you know, math grades and English grades, literally tangible leadership development. I joined the Georgia because like, my class was hard. I was like, let me join. 
maybe I will get my grades up and I want to do it because it looks fun and I will like, let me try. We have these college counselors that help students discover more about themselves and also just help with college in general. We actually have this thing called senior planning. So we have like FAFSA and it's like financial aid that helps you like get ready, pick your own colleges. Like so you can reach out to colleges, have your personal statement. Like the Burke is really on top of like helping people get into college and where they need to be like after high school. As a senior, I feel like they're actually doing good with that. As a native Bostonian who's grown up, you know, hearing the negative feedback about the Burke, being in the building and then watching the, the students who come into the building transition and to really see what's happening here, it, it's uh, very inspiring, right? Because it shows a lot about what's happening, but there's so much uh, beautiful things going on, whether it's art or the education itself, music, there's a lot of progress being made in this building.